you're looking at one of the most expensive electric vehicles on the planet. It's the EcoRide, an all-electric city bus from Proterra. No one's going to confuse the EcoRide with a Tesla Roadster. This thing averages about 15 miles an hour and holds about 40 passengers. But as far as electric vehicles go, you might see electric buses hit the street faster than lots of electric cars. California has already mandated that 15% of the vehicles in state transportation fleets must be zero emission vehicles by 2012. Hydrogen buses aren't ready yet, so chances are we're going to have to fill the gap with things like battery powered buses, according to Dale Hill, the founder of Proterra. This bus can be completely recharged in 10 minutes or less. We designed a system whereby the bus passes under an arm as it makes each circuitous route and tops off the batteries. Passes under an arm? Uh, yeah. If you would envision the uh, catenary arm on the top of a light rail car, mm -hmm. uh, inverted hanging from a pole, and two copper uh, bars look like a luggage rack on a sport utility vehicle. So it rushes by and it rushes gets... by, recharges the batteries. Batteries can't take vehicles as far as a full tank of gas can, and there are almost no charging stations. That's not a problem for the Eco Ride. This thing is meant to drive in circles within a city. Can't you see circulating in the airport on this? What's the next stop, sir? Southwest. Great, that's me. A current diesel bus uses forty to forty-five thousand dollars a year in fuel. Mm -hmm. If we do this in an all-electric version, as we're talking about here, we're talking four to six thousand dollars a year in fuel. The Eco Ride costs about two million dollars right now, but that price is going to go down over time. And if it does, it's going to be competitive. In a single year, this bus can cut diesel costs by about fifty thousand dollars. Over a 12-year period, a city can save about $310,000. How'd the test ride go? Pretty well. It's just like being in most other buses. There's little things on the roof for public service announcements. There's lots of seats. There's handles to hold on to. But the main difference was there's none of that grinding, gnashing engine noise that happens when a bus goes from start to stop. It's silent. Now, someday, it'll be all covered in graffiti, but it won't be chewing up gas. I'm Michael Canellis for Green Tech Media. 